in the wagons, old timer. Trading goods for Santa Fe. That's Jane Tabor, owner of the outfit. We're rangers, ma'am. We'd like to inspect your wagon if you don't mind. But I do mind. I suppose you know that you must pay toll before you cross Texas. Yes, I've heard about your tax, but I'm not crossing Texas. Aiming to open up a new trail, ma'am? That's my business. No offense, but if you're figuring on swinging north through Colorado, I wouldn't do it. It's a bad country, young woman. Now, don't you young woman me. All right, pretty, get a moving. Ain't too late to reconsider, Miss Jane. I know what I'm doing. Hey, Billy, help! All right, nobody's listening. You can shout now. Oh, I ain't got nothing to shout about. You're the boss. Except that I think it's the consarnest, thing-busted, plum loco idea I ever heard. Trace and half across the continent to keep from paying a toll, right or wrong. I have another reason beside the toll. Freddie, do you know who ordered that toll? No, nope, I don't bother my head with politics. Well, I found out yesterday. Did you ever hear of a man named LaRue? General LaRue. Oh, I'm beginning to understand. I think you know how I feel about General LaRue. Yep, sure do, Miss Jane. You left the world short of a mighty fine man when he killed your dad. Well, I guess you know what you're doing, but it won't make no difference to LaRue that you're a woman. If you cross him, I'm afraid there'll be trouble aplenty. I'd like that. Yes, I certainly would. Couple of rangers. If I ain't mistaken, one of them's Captain Cole. Sure is. Let me do the talking. Hi, Captain, Sergeant. What brings you way out here? The question's right back at you. What are you doing here? That wagon train has just turned off. Is that any of your doings? Maybe. You see, we're collecting toll on all the wagons that pass through here, and that one objected to paying, that's all. Texas has no toll on free trade. Who gave you the authority to collect? No one but General LaRue. Is that good enough for you? You better ride back to headquarters with us. Aren't you overstepping your mark, Captain? I still say you're riding back with us. All right, Kramer. We'll let the captain have his way. What is it? These men say you ordered them to collect toll on the Santa Fe Trail. Is that correct, sir? Quite correct, Captain. I hope you haven't hindered them in their task. You see, Captain, Texas is short of funds. Our treasury is almost empty. That's a matter for President Houston. When he gets back from Washington, he'll... It so happens that President Houston left me in charge. And if in an emergency I see fit to exact a tariff on freight wagons, I shall do so. You understand? You know, General... We may have a little trouble collecting that money. 
Some of the first wagons have dodged the tax by swinging north. You mean to say they're opening a new trail? I'll show you. They're not going through Texas at all. They turned off at Simmerman Crossing. Now, if they keep on through Colorado, they cross the Arkansas River at Bent's Fort. After that, it's all Mexican territory clear through to Santa Fe. If we let them do that, every other freighter will follow them. Of course, they could be stopped if we took over all the Mexican territory east of the Rio Grande. That's a good idea, General. I think it's a very good idea. Captain Cope, you will leave immediately and post orders to the effect that all trade passing through Bent's Fort will be subject to the regular tax. The Texas Rangers have no right to collect toll in Mexico. This is an order, Captain, not a request. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Some men never seem to learn. I'm afraid that young man may interfere with our plans. You can prevent that easily enough. By putting me in charge of the Rangers. I've got a better idea than that, Kincaid. We'll replace Colt's regulars with some of our own men. The kind who aren't so worried about loyalty to Texas and Sam Houston. Colt might raise a fuss. He might. I hope he does. The late Captain Burton raised a fuss, too, remember? I'm not in the mood to stand for any interference at this point from Mr. Cold or anyone else. I'm going to build an empire, Kincaid, and I need money. No matter which way I have to get it. Well, I'm with you, General, but uh, what's Sam Houston going to say when he gets back? If he gets back. I hardly think he'll recognize his republic. He's a wolf and ox, I tell you. Pussy putting them scally wagging around the minute Houston's back is turned. If there ain't no money in the treasure, it's because the rule is stored and empty. <laughs> don't explode, Sergeant. I might need you. You don't have to call me Sergeant no more, another. I'm fixing to resign, adjourn, and quit. You ought to do the same thing. No, Gabby. That's just what LaRue wants. We've got to stick. Keep the Rangers together till President Houston gets back. I think it'll be a different story then. In the meantime, what are you figuring on doing? Give LaRue no excuse to get rid of. We'll get those orders printed up and head for Bent's Fort right away. I'm going to have this dance. You got it. Penny coat fever. Come on. Reckon you think that female boss of mine is a mite peculiar. All females are naturally peculiar. Including squaw. What did you say he was doing? Didn't say. By the way, not meaning to change the subject, how's your collection coming along? Well, I get plenty of Pawnees and Blackfeet, but I'm a little mite shy on commissions. Should have been a lot of them varmint on the trail. <laughs> but I reckon you was a little bit too much of a hurry to get here for some reason. Yeah. And then again, no. See that? They ain't a truer blade west of the Missouri. Enough silver in that handle sets tape. Reckon they're doing a dog fight? That night, handle and all, I gain two ball-headed scalp, says my collection outnumbers you. It's a bet. Five Comanche. Barnard's collection of scouts west of Missouri. What's that? Half breed. Funny thing, you got me but two and I could always out shoot you with one I said. This knife here, I guess your collection says you're lying in your teeth. Ah, oh, close your trap and choose your target. You could 
save your ammunition, maybe not leave that squaw with it. That fool Indian twist on the third shot. I've seen him do it. <sighs> I catch him in mid-twitch myself. May I have the next dance? Oh, I'm sorry, I have the next dance take. The one after that? That one, too. I should say them two folks has become unfond of each other all of a sudden, like. Well, if it ever comes to a showdown, I'm betting my knife Captain Colt stays right side up in the saddle. You don't know, Miss Jane. My collection goes on that gal. Is it a bet? I guess I need to take lessons. Come on, let's finish your job and get out of here. My idea exactly. Wait a minute. As far as I'm concerned, this order doesn't mean a thing. We're still in Mexico. I don't know what all these people intend to do about it, but all the rangers in Texas aren't going to interfere with my rights. Now, I might as well tell you right now, Captain Colt. You try to collect your toll from me and you're in for trouble. Well, ma'am, I'm just carrying out orders. And, and you can go back and tell your General LaRue that it'll take more than a piece of paper to make this country part of Texas. And that we're not paid. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry you feel that way about it, ma'am, but if you pull them down, I'll just have to tack them back up. If you'll just listen a minute, I... I'll be toting that knife before this is over. Watch out I don't scalp you with it. Eh? Yeah. Well, I've been scalped by better men than you, Hank Birdie. I've done my share of shooting and scalping, but it ain't decent collecting blood money from free traders. No use grumbling, Gabby. For the time being, it's the only thing we can do. All set. All right, start him rolling. Just a minute, Miss Tabor. It used to be said that one ranger was as good as four other men, but I think times have changed, Captain Cole. Purdy, I'd like to speak to the wagon master. That's her. Wagon master and owner. Rolled into one. Pretty good, too. Huh, Ranger? Miss Tabor, I don't like to do this, believe me. But for your own sake, I've got to make an inventory of your trade goods and collect the toll. I think I told you I'm not paying any toll. Pretty, get those wagons rolling. Stand aside. No use, Gabby. There's too many of them. Say, son, ain't you forgetting something? That gal's poison, plum poison. Let her go. Well, the better. We can't, Gabby. For her sake, we can't. We're outnumbered five to one. That's good reason to give Rue, ain't it? No, it isn't. He'd use that as an excuse to get rid of us. We've got to collect that toll somehow. If we don't, he'll send Kincaid. Well, I guess you're right, Captain. But messing with that she male is like flying in the face of Providence.
Everybody, when you get through looking for your guns, line up over there near the wagon. Come on, hand it over. Now step lively, you old coyote, before I put a bullet next to your feet. Nobody but a snake could sneak up and steal my gun. Now, Miss Tabor, don't you think you'd better pay the toll and save yourself a lot of trouble? I'm not paying a cent. Can't you understand that? Well, I guess there's nothing else to do. All right, Pappy, saddle her horse. Ma'am, you're forcing my hand. I'm going to have to take you to San Miguel under arrest. Is General LaRue at San Miguel? Yes. Well, now that just suits me fine. I've been wanting to meet him. It's a long way, ma'am. I don't like the tone of her voice, Captain. Taking her to San Miguel is just like poking your head smack dab in the noose. <laughs> well, don't say I didn't tell you. Looks like Mac's in trouble. What's the matter here, Mac? Who are these men? It's the captain himself. Meet your new rangers, Captain. General LaRue thought you might need them. What happened to my men? Oh, we kissed them goodbye and paid them off. You expect to make rangers out of that bunch of lop-eared broom tails? The Tabor wagon train refused to pay the required toll. I thought it best to bring the owner in. I hope we didn't cause you any great inconvenience, Miss... Uh... Tabor. Jane Tabor. No, you haven't caused me any inconvenience at all, General. In fact, it's all been quite pleasant. 
Your captain may not be efficient at collecting the toll, but he's a wonderful dancer, and he sings divinely. Well, Captain, this is a surprising technique. Sing to the lady like a gay Lothario and then arrest her. Perhaps the captain could arrange to give singing lessons to the rest of our rangers. I can imagine the soothing effect it would have on the freight wagon owners. I obeyed your order, General. I don't think it matters how I did it. You'll have to forgive our captain, Miss Tabor. It's his youth. And I'm sure that we can straighten out this matter between us. Oh, I just know we can, General. But, um, must we have company while we talk things over? I'm sure the lady made herself clear, Captain. Sad case, Lobo. Deaf and dumb. Lost his hearing at the Battle of San Jacinto. Now, Miss Tabor, I find it hard to believe that so intelligent a young woman would refuse to pay a just and very necessary toll. Well, as you say, the money's very necessary. Why do you bother, then, with the few dollars you can collect by taxing wagon trains? I don't quite follow you. It's really quite simple, indeed. Just complete control of the Santa Fe Trail. A monopoly. A monopoly? For whom? You and me. I have the largest train of freighters, and you have the rangers to keep out all competitors. Shipments on that trail run into millions, you know, General. I think we should be able to work out an excellent arrangement between us. There you are, Miss Tabor. The exclusive right to operate your freighting lines in Texas and all the territory under its jurisdiction. We'll have the charter drawn up as quickly as possible. Thank you, General. Now, to make sure there's no difficulty, you'll give the order to the rangers? Yes, of course. Colt. I'm sending you back to Bent's Fort with Miss Tabor. To Bent's Fort? Yes, sir. I'm giving the Tabor Company a monopoly on all trade to Santa Fe. You will see to it that all other freighters are turned back at the border. That's all. No, it isn't. If you do that, there'll be protests from Washington. Texas has a right to govern trade within its own borders. There's a limit to that, General, if it's going to turn the United States against Texas. Sam Houston's back in Washington talking to Congress right now for one purpose, arranging to get us into the Union. If you tie up that trade, you'll ruin every bit of work he's done. Captain, do you or do you not intend to carry out my orders? I do not. I think I've had about enough of your insubordination, Colt. You're relieved of your command. I guess I underestimated you at that. You look as if that Tabor girl had you hatched and discombobulated. Am I right? I'm no fool, Gabby, but I sure made a mistake on that one. She actually made a deal with LaRue. A monopoly on all the freight. Gabby, me and you are out of the Rangers. Hmm. Easy as all that, eh? But if you ask me, we're lucky to walk out of here alive, eh? Miss Tabor. Can I speak to you a minute? Yes, Captain. I'm sorry. Don't waste your sympathy on me. I wanted to explain to you that when I brought you here, I did what I thought was the least of two evils. You see, I was fool enough to believe what you said about standing up for your rights. But, Captain, Let I... me finish. Evidently, I played right into your hand. But you'll gain nothing from a plan like that, Miss Tabor. Even though you and LaRue drive every honest trader off of the Santa Fe Trail. You want to stay healthy, Colt? Take my advice and keep clear of San Miguel. The way he'd blowed up, I'd say he'd taken over Captain Colt's job. And the same goes for you, too. Move on. I've been waiting for over a year to see that, <laughs> but it was worth it. Oh, keep quiet, you old hyena. Mac, we've got to get word to Sam Houston in Washington that LaRue has the Rangers packed with these killers, and we need him back here in a hurry. If you mean you want me to get him, I'm ready. Tell him we'll hold out the best we can until he arrives. 
you're going to hold us up for that 50% we got at Bent's Fort. You're mistaken, neighbor. That gang at Bent's Fort are a bunch of outlaws acting without authority from President Houston. Yeah, we're here to help you. You mean that? If you want to join us, we'll get your wagon train back and convoy you on into Santa Fe. Well, we'll join you and be glad to do it. Ten your own hiding fur, Gabby. I'm tending. You aim to keep gallivanting around with that caber female. And things are going to begin to commence to happen. A twitch dot, a twitch dot. Take Pretty's gun, Gabby. He's on the wrong side. Now don't go getting hasty. I ain't made up my mind, Jeff. Heads, I'm with you. Tails begin to shoot. Heads up. I hate to desert Miss Jane, but wrong's wrong, I guess. Looks like we're shooting together, Gabby. Aim and fire! There she is. I felt her sting me. Oh, keep your britches on. You've been hit before. Stopped inside you. I ain't sure if she's a plain bullet or a cannonball. Oh, doggone your careless hide. Why don't you keep your fool carcass out of the way? Oh. I guess that's all of them. Something wrong, Gabby? Yeah, this poor old war out quitter's helpless. Was there one bullet a flying, he'd be in front of it. Seems I never was a bit lucky at getting missed. Can't do nothing for him here. We gotta take him where a doctor can whittle on him some. We'll get a travel already and take him to Ben's Fort. Hey, hey, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't go there. That place is crawling with king cage centipedes. Can't help it, Gabby. It's the only doctor within a hundred miles. I don't think you'll have any more trouble, Winslow, but my men will see you on through to Santa Fe. I don't reckon I'll ever get too sanguine for what you've done, Captain. Since you got my train back again, I'd be mighty obliged if you'd uh, take charge of this money that... 
That lady gave me. All right, Winslow. I'll take care of it. Us, Gabby. Ken Cage just rode out on patrol. Now, ain't that too bad? And I was just spiling for a fight. Oh. It's your man, Purdy. He's been wounded. Bring him inside. Kincaid telling him we're here? Oh, no, you don't. Gabby, you better go. Where did I find him, miss? Well, the second doorway, but hurry. Did Cole do this to you, Purdy? No, ma'am. I guess maybe I seemed like a traitor, but I, I was fighting on their side. Some of your good friends did that, Miss Tabor. But I don't understand. How did he happen to be with you? We got our rangers together and took over the Winslow train. Oh, I see. Another peep out of you. What's trouble? Man's been shot and you're coming with me. Quiet. Your hand's trembling. Take your finger off that trigger before you shoot yourself. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh be still and hash up. I've seen Cherokee engines complain less when they're being scalped. I'll need that hot water. It ought to be ready in a minute. I'll do that. Before I forget it, here's the money you gave Winslow when you stole his wagons. He didn't have to sell if he didn't want to. You know, I can understand you, Miss Tabor. You seem to be much too smart a girl to be mixed up in a thing like this. I have my reasons, Mr. Colt. And if you don't mind, I'd rather you didn't interfere. But I'm going to interfere. Traitors. Decent people are being robbed. Everyone who's responsible is going to have to pay for it. That means you, too, even though you are a woman. What are you doing here? Holt and his rangers grabbed the wagon train. Purdy was wounded in the fight. I saw Colt and Sergeant start toward the fort with him. We're going back. Get up here. Hey, yeah, you old horse thief. Taint bigger than sweet pea. Is he all right, Doctor? Sure, better than I thought he'd be. Ain't but two places to hurt that old weasel. One's in his head where he eats, and the other's in his stomach where he thinks. I'll see him again in a couple of hours. Well, at least Pretty came out of it. What do you mean? I'm thinking about those other men back there who weren't so lucky. They have you and LaRue to thank for that. Looky, Miss Jane, I don't know what you're up to, but it ain't right this way. Why don't you tell him the truth? Tell him who you are. Then I'll tell him. Her name ain't Tabor at all. She's Captain Burton's daughter. Captain Burton? Well, I must be an awful fool, but I don't understand. You and LaRue. But Miss Jane, 
LaRue's the one who had your father shot by an army firing squad for plotting with the Mexicans against Texas. Yes, but my father wasn't guilty. LaRue was a traitor, and my father found it out. LaRue was clever. He planted evidence on my father and then had him shot to cover his own guilt. Then why are you hand in glove with LaRue in this mess? Well, maybe if I get close to him, I can prove the facts and clear my father's name. You sure picked a strange way of doing it. But uh, women have strange ways. I just begun to find that out. Shall we bury the hatchet? I want to help you if I can. Thank you. All right, Colt. Out the window. I haven't enough men to handle his ranges if they show up, so we better clear out and head for San Miguel. Don't say I didn't warn you, Colt. Turn him loose. Now start running. I said start running. Kincaid, wait. You said his rangers might show up at any minute. Suppose we take the captain along to protect ourselves. The general was right. He's got brains. They try to stop us, and we threaten to shoot him, huh? Get the wagons ready, man. We'll take him with us. But getting ready to leave. It's a good thing in the air before you smothered me to death. You're going. We got to get the captain out of this, don't we? That's just the ID. Last time I counted it, we was only two men. There'll be more. You follow him and I'll go get the rangers. Why, you bow-legged pollywog, you can't even walk. Don't need to walk, son. Put me on a horse. I'll stay there if I have to tie me in the saddle. You'll never make it. I bet you that silver-handled knife I do, son. You got yourself a bet, mister. Well, Miss Tabor, this is a surprise. Colt. What brought you back so soon? Colt been making trouble? He got his rangers together and turned outlaw. Started taking over some of our wagons. Really, Colt? I thought you had more sense. Do you know the penalty for rebellion against your government? With you running things, it usually means being shot. Without a trial. Trials are expensive, and the Treasury's short of money. Colt? You're guilty of treason to the state of Texas. Tomorrow morning, you'll pay the penalty. We'll lock him up, Kincaid. You'll excuse us, Miss Tabor. company for you. Pretty sure of yourself, aren't you, LaRue? I can afford to be. I don't think your confidence will last very long. So you sent word to Houston, eh? I anticipated that. You'll never reach San Miguel, Colt.
Well, Miss Jane, I think our troubles are just about over. That'll be all, Jim Kate. You must be tired after your long trip. A little wine, perhaps? No, thank you. Not tonight. We'll celebrate our victory at some other time. You know, there's nothing worse than a tired woman at a celebration. Well, to that celebration when it comes. Good night. Good night. Getting ready to face a firing squad. I'm trying to help. I'm so darn mixed up, I don't know whether to trust you or not. Well, I haven't any time to try to convince you now. I came here to make a key to LaRue's office. That's the only way we can get him out. You know, I used to be pretty fair hand making keys myself. Broke jail once, using the handle of a spoon. All right, then. Stop talking and get to work. And you keep that bellows going. Just about it. Here's a friend of Colt's for you, Sergeant. I caught him sleeping in the town. Sure wasn't surprised to see you this time of night. Yeah, well, that ain't half a surprise you're going to get. This better work, young woman. Scalped a dumb critter from our collection. LaRue had a hunch we sent word to Houston. His men are laying for him. It's getting light, Gabby. We better hurry and get out of here. But what is it? Colt, make him get away. Caper girl, help.
Where's Colt? <laughs> You'll never get him now. All right, we'll take him back. Houston, all right. Come on, let's get him. The Rue's men are waiting up ahead, sir. All right, Colt. Unhitch those leaders. my friend. I am sure I appear very stupid in your eyes, Miss Tabor. You fooled me. Why? What do you propose to do now, General? I have very little choice. No more choice than when you kill Captain Burton, isn't that right? What do you know about Captain Burton? You plotted with the Mexican army, then had Captain Burton shot to cover your treason. Quite correct. You see, Captain Burton was an idealist. A brave man, mind you, but he stood for the Republic. I stand for myself. But I'm curious. How did you find this out? Captain Burton was my father. Well, I hate to do this, but there's no other course open to me. Lobo. Like Sam Houston, but it can't be. Or is it? It is!
God dang it, Mr. President, I was never so happy to see anybody in my whole life. <laughs> Mr. President, this is Miss Jean Burton. It was her scheme that finally brought LaRue out into the open. And Miss Burton, this is hard at the time or place to express my thanks. I need no thanks, sir. She's the daughter of the late Captain Burton, sir. Captain Burton? Of the Rangers? LaRue confessed to me that my father was innocent, but... I've always suspected that, but I had no proof. I had to take LaRue's word. I have no proof either, now. You don't need it. I think the facts are self-evident. Believe me, I shall do everything within my power to right a great wrong. Mm. Well, I know Sam Houston. He'll do exactly as he says. Thank you, Sergeant. Uh, will you excuse us, Mr. President? Sir. Too late. But I reckon I'll have to pay that debt anyhow. What's the matter? Did they shoot Captain Cole? What? Look at that. Be better off dead. <laughs> <laughs> 